All right, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Uh, a massive success for Sony. Uh, I think it's it's going to double nearly the box office gross of the first one. It's been insanely popular. Uh, so much online chat about it. Everybody loves it. But it looks like the production uh, had a kind of a bit of a dark <laughs> twist to it. I don't, have you seen the reports on this? this is, what you're saying right now is the first time I'm hearing this. Really? Wow. Yeah. I'm playing too much Destiny, it sounds like. Um, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good thing. Um, it's an old game. Um, it's a good game. Ugh. Anyway, the harsh working conditions, uh, it caused 100 VFX artists forced to quit uh, because they had to work around 11 to 12 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, it, it got to the point where they need needed like five revisions on like final renders in terms of the frame and image and stuff like that. So... It's just, it's got a really kind of dark issue because I think there's about a thousand animators working on this. hundred are gone now. And, you know, further to that, one of them that, you know, anonymously like talked to, um, I think it was Vulture um, about this. They said that there's no way that Beyond the Spider-Verse gets done in time. Um, and that, yeah, it's looking to be 2025, 2026. They've done like not much work on it. Anonymous source, but um, it is, it doesn't look good. But yeah, this is a really bad look for Sony. It's a bad look for Across the Spider-Verse and, and something that's like has such wide critical acclaim. Everybody loves it. It's doing so well. What are your thoughts on these kind of, you know, working conditions for, you know, VFX artists? Mm. <clears throat> Seems to be like a little Marvel trend right now, you know. MCU had their issues with um, their visual effects artists for, mm-hmm. I mean, their quality is shit anyway, so that's probably transition. <laughs> transition. <clears throat> transitions into their work. Mm-hmm. Um, this one I'm a little bit surprised about. I mean, I can understand, like, if you're putting all those man hours into <clears throat> Across the Spider-Verse and the product that we got was absolutely fantastic, yeah. then, yes, yeah. I can sort of, <clears throat> like, the quality is so good, but Jesus. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> like, 11 to 12 hours. But, but things to d- like, things they put people through to do that, <clears throat> mm. to get to that quality. I mean, yeah, you and I can enjoy it. The, um or appreciate it. Yeah. Um, but the general movie going audiences probably won't even know that this stuff is happening. Mm. Um, so it is a bit sad and I do hope they get compensated somehow. Yeah. Um, being a big studio, I doubt it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say really. I mean, it is a bit sad. Um, yeah. It is, yeah, Beyond the Spider-Verse is definitely going to get pushed back now as well, mm-hmm. um, if that's the case. And um, I guess if they're going to put, if Sony's going to, put all these animators to work for these excruciating hours and whatnot, then at least compensate them well. Yeah. Because you know, they delivered us across the Spider-Verse and that's making a lot of money for Sony mm-hmm. and it's getting like appraised like literally worldwide. So yeah. clearly they're doing something well. So at least they can like show the appreciation by mm-hmm. giving the animators, you know, something. Yeah. So if they were to uh, take that advice, dial back, say five days a week, Eight hours a day, just you know, normal working conditions. Mm-hmm. Uh, fair pay, obviously, um, but it gets pushed back to like twenty twenty seven because, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I me personally, mm. I'm being selfish. I don't want to wait to twenty twenty seven. Yeah. I mean, I know it's a similar gap between mm. the first one and this one, but just the way it ended, mm. I don't really want that. But so, but yeah. if, if that is the case, then mm. to like. <clears throat> Abs- to like get the quality that we got in Across the Spider Verse, I'm all for it. Delay it for as long as you want. Just yeah, yeah. Because you know you, you're on the cusp of having the greatest trilogy of all time, mm, and yeah. if the third one fails, then it's going to fall into like, you know, it's just going to be one of the best, not yeah, the best. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, using kind of what you've said there, um, you know, if I don't know how to articulate the question. But I'll, so I'll just go into my opinion. It'll come back to me. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, I fully, fully agree with everything that you are saying here. It, it is not, uh, it's not okay for Sony to impose such uh, like strict demands onto workers. And I think if this was the case, then you push back across Spider-Verse to 2024. Um, and if you are going to announce that, you know, across and beyond uh, the same story, just split in two, then push both of them back, yeah, and to the point where they're both kind of ready, or at least beyond is can be ready in time. Because if you cut uh, the movie, pretty much just cuts it split down the middle, Literally. um, where it's like so like uh, it's a major cliffhanger. 
Um, the, the movie is not complete as a story. As great as it is, it's not complete. Um, so, yeah, I think when that's the case, yeah, you should have pushed both of them back and at the same time given fair working conditions to VFX artists. Um, but, yeah, I mean, for, for Beyond, do you think um, in a way that they can make the movie sooner while giving fair conditions to the VFX artists that they should tone down on the animation? Because it's clearly very good animation. All these art styles come together and it's so much detail in every frame. Should they sacrifice animated quality to get it sooner? No, because that's what makes Spider-Man or the Spider-Verse so great is mm. literally the, yeah. the um, animation. I mean, they could easily get away with it, you know, if like something's like, mm. I don't want to say half-assed, but if something's half-assed, you know, yeah. it'll fit perfect in terms of like, oh, that's like the animation style we're trying to go with. Because, mm. you know, Spider-Verse has gone through so many animation styles, so if something's like unfinished, you could just be like, that's literally just the whole part of that scene. Yeah. So it, it could work um, if uh-huh. they do it, but... um. Yeah, Spider Verse is all about the animation. That's literally what's breaking the animation right now. We see it with DreamWorks; they're adopting yeah something not as um mm-hmm. not as to the levels of what Spider Verse has done, but yeah. very loosely. So it's inspired at least. Yeah, and um, Paramount's uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep, that's the same. Yeah, I've heard very good stuff about that as well. So um, it is kind of bringing this new wave of animation of just mixing different, you know, kind of. Visual animated styles. Back to the cartoony sort of hand-drawn sort of stuff. Yeah, so it's kind of cool, at least in the sense that, you know, the animated movies that come through to the consumers and whatnot, it's a mixed variety. It's not just this ultra-realistic, detailed kind of... Pixar. Yeah, yeah, And I do love Pixar, and they do have the best animation in terms of shared detail and what they can render. I think they have, like, one of the top 25 computers around. Um, So, yeah. Um... I don't know. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I just saw Remy, bro. What? I just saw Remy from Ratatouille. Just run across. No way. <laughs> Actually? <laughs> All right, we're going to investigate this. We're going to pause the podcast for this. All right, so we paused the podcast. We looked for uh, Remy, the mouse that uh, walked through the backdrop of our podcast. Uh, we went back to recording and he started scratching away at something. And then I paused the podcast again. And we just couldn't find him. He's driving us insane. I believe this is intentional. Um, if anyone's seen Mouse Hunt, that's what's about to happen as soon as this uh, podcast ends. If anyone's yeah. listened to the fly episode where I got sprayed with fly spray, you can expect James to throw some mouse traps at my face. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Um, we're going to give you some cheese first, which is your drink. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we're going to go back to it. But, um, yeah, Sony... Have fair working conditions for the VFX artists. They make these movies great. Um, that's how we'll finish up that segment there. 